Good Morning America is brought to you by Pfizer. CBS Health Watch, sponsored by Pfizer. Anderson Cooper 360, brought to you by Pfizer. ABC News Nightline. Droid presents seven freakish genetically modified animals. The other thing is we don't really know that much about how to make um, a particular thing happen by changing particular spots in the genome. We're a long way away from figuring out how to give a pig wings, for example. But what is happening is that CRISPR is being used by thousands and thousands of scientists to do really, really important work, like making better models of diseases. Um, in animals. Number seven, we have the sudden death mosquitoes. Dengue fever is a mosquito-borne virus that causes 2.3 million infections and over 25,000 deaths per year worldwide. As yet, there is no cure. But to deal with this, scientists have created what are called sudden death genetically modified mosquitoes. That's great. You still need a professional lab to do the work in. You're not going to do anything meaningful outside of a professional lab. I mean, don't listen to anyone who says you can do this sort of stuff on your kitchen table. Number six, glow-in-the-dark cats. The glow-in-the-dark cat was developed as a way to fight the feline immunodeficiency virus, or FIV, which is related to the human version of HIV and typically affects feral cats. The part that's amazing about it is that the guide RNA only 20 letters of it are what target the system. This is really easy to design, and it's really cheap to buy. So... Number five, the web-spinning spider goats. When it comes to natural goods, flexible and strong spider silk is incredibly valuable. Spider silk is, pound for pound, five times stronger than steel and far more elastic than rubber. Normally, getting enough spider silk for these applications requires a large number of spiders. However, spiders tend to be territorial, so when the researchers set up spider farms, the spiders killed each other. And it's so versatile and so controversial that it's sparking all sorts of really interesting conversations. Should we bring back the woolly mammoth? Should we edit a human embryo? And my personal favorite, how can we justify wiping out an entire species that we consider harmful to humans? Number four, singing mice. Sometimes there is no defined end result for the genetic tweaking involved. It'd be kind of cool, right? But what is happening is that CRISPR is being used by thousands and thousands of scientists to do really, really important work, like making better models of diseases um, in animals. Number three, Popeye pigs. For all you meat eaters out there that love bacon and hate vegetables, Japanese scientists have taken pigs and added the gene from spinach. This creates a healthier meat with a lower saturated fat content and contains proteins that are found in the spinach leaves. Dubbed the Popeye pigs because of the spinach, these pigs have been inserted with a special spinach gene that converts the saturated fat into unsaturated fat. Although the pigs have been cleared of any health complications, their announcement was met with a public outcry. If you're trying to CRISPR a genome, the first thing that you have to do is damage the DNA. The damage comes in the form of a double strand break through the double helix, and then the cellular repair processes kick in, and then we convince those repair processes to make the edit that we want and not a natural edit. Number two, cows that produce human milk. Babies could be fed on human milk produced by cows in the wake of the latest genetic modifications. Scientists have created cattle that have been given human genes to make their milk contain the same nutrients and fat content as breast milk. However, human milk differs from cow's milk in several important ways. It contains high quantities of nutrients beneficial to the baby's growth and also special immune system antibodies that are specific to that mother and baby, which could never be replicated using this method. It's a two-part system. You've got a Cas9 protein and something called a guide RNA. I like to think of it as a guided missile. So the Cas9, I love to anthropomorphize. Number one, glowing zebrafish. 
Glowfish is a patented brand of genetically modified fluorescent zebrafish with bright red, green and orange fluorescent colours. Though it was originally created to show the presence of toxins in water, it was the first genetically modified animal that has gone on to be widely available to the public as a pet. In 1999, scientists at the National University of Singapore were working with a gene called the green fluorescent protein. <laughs> The devil is always in the details. We don't really know. There's always someone walking among us who has nefarious objectives and will use some of our greatest technology for the unraveling of civilization. That is, that's always been the case. Take care, fisherman in a box. Yeah. <laughs>